Hello everyone this is Void Spirit. I'm here to bring you guys amazing fanfiction that you will surely enjoy. But before we start please subscribe and like the video for more amazing content. CH13. Birth of a new goddess currently, we see Rimuru together with Anos, Misha, and Sasha in front of the entrance of Delsgade to do a practical exam. Asterisk asterisk asterisk, so you are saying that once we are inside we will find the scepter and we will get full marks on this test. I ask my brother who seems to be confident about his idea. Rimuru is right and how are we supposed to find that scepter? Sasha asks as I looked at her and then looked at Anos. You both don't have to worry this is my castle and I know every room that is in here, Anos said. Well if you say so then let us enter, I said, and Anos lead the way, while Misha, Sasha, and I followed him. This castle was really something it is covered by magic power and even though it's been more than 2000 years it still looked amazing. I wonder if I would be able to build a castle like this. If master want I could make one for you. Stop it seal stop reading my mind. He. Anyways we continue to walk and stumbled to a dead end Misha and Sasha ask if we are lost but Anos said that this was a secret entrance. Which it is since I have been able to see through it using universal perception. After that. I wanted to follow them but I heard a voice inside my head. Follow the light, is what it said I looked around and saw a black and purple light leading to one of the places of the palace. You guys go ahead I have something to do, I said to my brother and Sasha, and Misha. You're hungry aren't you? Asks by my brother, eh I aw yeah I am, I said while I feel my face turned red. Why does he have to say that I'm hungry I mean doesn't he knows that asking a girl about food is? Wait what am I saying I'm a man? You're a girl right now master. Shut it, seal. Anyways I'll see you guys later, I said as I wave at them and left. Asterisk 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 after Rimuru and Anno's separate ways Rimuru immediately followed the black and purple light and Rimuru was lead to a wide area. I don't think this is part of the castle, Rimuru said. As she said that the room immediately became dark and the floor that Rimuru was standing on disappeared and the surroundings were that of the void, a few moments later a huge golden light emerged out of nowhere. Its size was bigger than the size of Saturn and came out of it was a dragon large enough to cover the entire galaxy with its wings. The dragon then looked at Rimuru and spoke, You are Rimuru Tempest correct? Yes, you might already know me but my name is Veldanaba I have seen this future and decided that this moment is the right time to choose you as my successor, the dragon said. A. N. Yes Rimuru here is not the supreme deity Rimuru he was only able to travel the world due to the void god Azathoth's sub skill. What do you mean you want me to be your successor? Rimuru asks. Then Veldanava explained to her that he had been watching everything that had happened to the world and all the possible future that might take place. He also explains the reason why he doesn't want to return and that being without his beloved Lucia leaving has no meaning for him. I see so what do you want me to do? You will train here for 1000 years and I will give you your own dragon factor. The one that you have right now is nothing but a copy of Veldora's dragon factor so I'll give you your own. After your training you will be returned back to the world that you are in do not work time following different in this place a few thousands of years here will only be a few hours or minutes there. I see then I accept, Rimuru said Veldanava then proceeded to give Rimuru her own true dragon factor and at that moment Rimuru felt pain for the first time since the end of Tenma war he felt like his soul and body are being torn apart and being reconstructed over and over again. Seal seeing her master like this tried her best to lessen the pain but that's all she could do. At that time the people in the cardinal world heard the voice of the world. Notice. The evolution of the individual Rimuru Tempest to Star Goddess will now commence, after the evolution those that the individual acknowledges will receive a gift. A. N. Don't asks about logic of the evolution since this is a work of my imagination. Rimuru Sama? Shuna said with a surprised expression along with all the others. As expected of my lord, Diablo said, but Goddess. Benamaru asks and that single words alone made everyone serious. Asterisk 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 back with Rimuru from the outside world, it's only been a few minutes but in the place where Rimuru is it's been 10 years since she started to evolve. You might ask why she evolved to star goddess well the answer is simple the voice of the world set her evolution path based on her body she evolved to a goddess that had a female gender. Even though Rimuru doesn't want this she had no choice but to accept it since the evolution can't be halt and seal at that time was also in a process of evolving and was unable to help her. After her evolution, 
The voice of the world announces that she had completed her evolution along as bestowing a gift to everyone that Rimuru recognized the octogram, her twelve patrons, the lords of the labyrinth her human friend receive a gift from her evolution. I congratulate you for completing your evolution, Veldanava said. Thank I feel more powerful than ever before, Rimuru said as she looked at her body. He clothes were white and had a gold design what stands out was that she had a pair of white wings. She was contemplating on what happened but Veldanava explained why she became a goddess. I see I guess I have to accept what I am now, Rimuru said. Well I'll try my best to adopt, but seal is be quiet I wonder what she up to. Now your test will begin I'll teach you everything that you have to know, Veldanava said. Asterisk 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 for 1000 years Rimuru had been training with Veldanava in the endless darkness with no rest and after that, she had been ready to return. I'll see you again big brother, Rimuru said, in the near future. I'll see you my little sister as well as my successor now you should return and protect all of creation for me. I will, Rimuru replied with a smile. After Rimuru returned back Veldanava was left alone. I wish you good luck you will not be alone on this journey you have your brother with you one of the most powerful being outside my creation, Veldanava said and disappeared. CH 14. Divine Sword Excalibur After returning Rimuru was back in the room that she had been to before and as she looked around she found the room almost empty. Well I should look for something that can help us get's point on this exam, she said. Master should just create a sword using your skills, Seal suggested. Then I'll leave the creation of a new weapon to you, Seal. As you wish master, the creation of a new legendary sword will now begin using the God of Information Akashic Records to search for suitable materials successful. God of Information Akashic Records is an evolved form of Lord of Information Akashic Records origin skill that Rimuru got when she fought and it evolved after her evolution to Star Goddess. Creation of materials using creation God Ashura Mazda successful. Out of nowhere material for the new sword appeared in front of Rimuru and the process of creating a new legendary sword begins. Not long after a new sword was created but, hey seal I thought we are going to create a legendary class sword but this ain't legendary, Rimuru said as she looked at the swords that are in front of her. The sword was flowing white and releasing golden energy that is capable of killing people and monsters alike when exposed to its golden energy. When Rimuru saw the sword she immediately used enhanced appraisal to see the sword's status and when she saw left her frozen. The sword was a god-class sword with the attribute of stardust energy that is capable of cutting planet in half with a single swing and it can also erase the concept of individuals when used at maximum capabilities. I can't let this sword fall on a wrong hands and I don't know what should I feel, should I be proud that I created a sword that has the power to erase concept or should I feel guilty for creating a sword that can bring calamity. After a while of thinking Rimuru named the sword Excalibur since she thought why not it's a divine sword and Excalibur is a cool name for a weapon after she named it she stores it back in her imaginary space. A. N. This is not the same Excalibur in Fate or any anime I just use the name since it's quite a cool name. After she stores Excalibur in the infinite space Rimuru looked around and tried to see if there's anything that can be of value. Although the place is almost empty Rimuru notices a sword that was stuck on the ground. She approached the sword and noticed that it had a black blade with red linings she pick it up and she immediately feels that it wasn't an ordinary sword so she decided to give it to Anos later to further increase the score that they will get. Rimuru head out of the castle and buys food and started eating them while waiting for Anos, Misha, and Sasha to come out she also bought two gifts and Seal asked her to, and when she asked why Seal only replied that she will know once Anos and the twins came out. And so she did as Seal said and waited for her team to came out not long after Anos came out with Saha and Misha. She learned that Misha and Sasha's birthday is today so she give the present that Seal asked her to buy to Misha and Sasha. Ah brother here, Rimuru pulled out the sword that she got in one of the rooms in the castle and give it to Anos, I found it in one of the rooms on my way out and I just pick it up I thought it might help us get a perfect score. Anos accept the sword and he looked at it and he was surprised. What is this sword I don't remember having this sword in my castle, Anos said as he continues to look at the sword that his sister give to him. It's a sword unknown even to the demon king himself the power that the sword has is also a mystery as if it had its own will and it was hiding its power. Anos was thinking hard on what is this thing that was in front of him but he was interrupted when someone spoke to him. Ah, are you okay Anos? Sasha asked, I'm fine this time of peace sure has a lot of surprise huh? Anos said as he put the sword in his storage. A. N. 
Forgot the name of the thing Anos used to store object please do tell me if you guys know. After a while, the three head back to the school grounds to report and give what they found. Asterisk 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 on another place in the place called the heavenly realm called the azure sky of the gods a place where the majority of the gods live a group of gods are gathered. Are you sure about what you are telling? One of the gods said. I am I sense at a birth of a new goddess and a birth of a divine sword, one of the gods replied. If you're correct then we must find that new goddess and that new weapon we need to get her and the weapon if we want to increase our chance to win against the demon king, one of the gods said. Perhaps I can help you all with that, a voice said and a black portal appeared out of nowhere the entire azure sky trembled the gods shivered as a being with eight white wings appeared. I came to your realm to offer an alliance between us we will help you defeat the demons king of tyranny and in exchange, you will help us defeat a great demon lord, the being said. The gods took a while to look at each other and decided to accept the offer of alliance since they felt that with the help of the being that was in front of them, they will be able to defeat the demon king. CH 15. Transfer student, this chapter is written by Void King. Underscore. A few days had passed since the exam and Rimuru and Anos along with Misha and Sasha are now listening to Amelia's announcement. She announces that a new student will be transferring. This announcement made everyone have a mixed reaction some were happy to have new classmates but some are also confused about why will there be a new student at this time since it's an odd time to transfer. Anos, on the other hand, was still thinking about the sword that Rimuru gave him while Rimuru just sleep next to him. Honestly this girl is such a pain, Sasha said as she tried to wake Rimuru up. Oi Rimuru class is starting wake up, Sasha said as she shake Rimuru to wake her up. Ah. I. I'm awake so stop shaking me, Rimuru said while still having a sleepy face. Amelia ignores Sasha and Rimuru and continues with her announcement. For the test scores regarding the scepter that Team Anos brought, unfortunately, someone slowed in it and until we found the culprit Team Anos will be given a temporary grade of 70, Amelia said. This is unacceptable, it's the school's fault that it got stolen so should we be having a temporary 100? Sasha said while she slammed her hands on the table. Unfortunately there are also so circumstances that we need to consider, Amelia replied. Sasha was at a loss for words, but then someone interrupted them and said that it was Misa Eliorog unfortunately for her she was shut down and forced to seat down. Ha 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 you people in white should know your place and besides maybe the scepter was stolen by those two, one of the students said. Ha ha he's right M. One of the students tried to say something again but was stopped when Rimuru spoke. Shut up all of you. You all are annoying, Rimuru said while she looked at them with cold eyes her words are enchanted by magic that made everyone aside from Anos, Misha, Sasha, and Misagroup to shut up. It's not like they stop talking on their own but instead they can't since Rimuru was using magic in her words. What with all the ruckus? If it's stolen then we just need to get it back, Anos said as he stands up and walks towards the front and looked at one of the students that can't speak nor move. I don't know what magic she uses but it's useful to make an annoying person like this guy to shut up, is what Anos said he then looked at the student and his eyes glowed red. It's a plain sight you know, Anos said and pulled off the scepter from the student's chest. After obtaining the scepter he had it over to Amelia and whisper a few words in her ears. If you try to make him do something Atlas put more effort into it, Anos whispered to her ears. Anos then returned to his seat and spoke to Rimuru. Are you going to release them? Anos asks his sister. Ah, right I forgot, Rimuru said and remove her magic and everyone was once again been able to move freely once again. The school hours are boring for Anos and Rimuru who knows almost all of the lecture here in this school. On their way home Rimuru and Anos spurate since Anos, Misha, Sasha, and Misa went to the Unitarian building. You might be asking what is the Unitarian? Well Unitarian is a faction of demons that seek true unity without discrimination between royalty and mixed blood in Dilhadi. While Rimuru went to a cake shop to buy a limited cake that she had been cravings for days. Ah I can't wait to taste it, Rimuru said while happily walking towards the cake shop. Asterisk 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 another day had passed and now everyone was on an arena. The goal of their test for today was to be able to lift one demon sword that was stuck on the ground. Although the task seems easy it was hard since the demon swords choose their welders and a person that is not suited to be its welder will never be able to lift the demon sword. Everyone in their class was having trouble since none can lift a sword even Misha and Sasha can't lift it. Ah it's useless I can't lift it, 
Sasha said as she gave up on trying to pull out one sword. Misha also gives up since she also can't lift a sword then Anos Arive. You both can't lift that sword? That demon sword must have hated you both, Anos said. I don't want to hear that to a person that doesn't have a sword in his hand, Sasha said. Hmm there's only one sword that I can't lift in this world, Anos replied. That's unexpected, I thought you would say that there's no sword that I can't lift, Misha said. Well, even I have to admit that the holy sword that the hero used, is not for me, Anos said as one of the sword flew towards him and he catch it with his right hand. MNH. How about you Rimuru are you going to try lifting one? Misha asks Rimuru who was still not paying attention to what was happening since she was thinking about the cake that she brought yesterday that was still on her stomach. Ah. I'll pick one up, Rimuru said as she pick up one sword and lifted it making everyone look at her in surprise. Not long after another person lift a sword when they looked at who it was they saw a young man with shoulder length white hair and blue eyes. His attire consists of his uniform which has a black belt surrounding it, as well as his badge on his left shoulder, black pants, and shoes. His name is Lei Glanzudli, the new transfer student. The students that saw him were everyone started to whisper to each other asking who was this man. But they are interrupted when two of the seven elder demon emperor arrive saying things about training Rimuru, Anos, and the new transfer student. Anos and the transfer student knock out the two seven elder demon emperors and the two were in their world not even minding everyone that is looking at them. Those two are ignoring us. Rimuru said, well boys will always be boys let them be, Sasha said as she dragged Rimuru back to their classroom, and Misha also follow. Asterisk 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 after everyone returns back to their classroom Amelia introduces the new student. My name is Lei Glanzudli I am looking forward to working with you all, he said. Then Lei please join a team that you like, Amelia said, and Lei nodded and approached Anos and asked him if he can join. Could I perhaps join your team? Lei asked Anos Anos looked at him and said, no thanks we don't need you in our ground the four of us are enough. Then what should I do for you to let me join you? Lei asked. If you really want to be one of my subordinate then prove yourself, Anos replied. How would I prove myself? Lei asks, Misha. When is the next team competition? Anos asks Misha. Tomorrow, she replied in her usual voice. The tomorrow from Phytus Misa join Lei's team and work together to defeat us. Yes Anos Sama, Anos returned to his seat and he saw that Rimuru was looking at him. Is there something that matters sis? He asks, since when did I become your subordinate? Rimuru asks. Is she upset? Is what Anos thought, just play along sis, I'll buy you a cake tomorrow if you play along, Anos bribed Rimuru, deal. Rimuru said without hesitation, she's too easy to bribe well at least I won't have to deal with her tantrum, is Anos though since the last time that Rimuru got upset, she almost killed Sasha and took Anos a whole week to convince her to let Sasha join the team.